So I had a few calls with my teams today. We have over 100 people working across the businesses that we have in the portfolio. And I made a few notes in between calls that I wanted to share with you and give you because it'll give you an insight and uh, things that you can implement and execute immediately in your day-to-day -day life, in your business too. So as a young entrepreneur, if you're starting out your career, when you start or when you want to blaze your own path, you're going to be confronted at some point with a decision you need to make about money you're gonna have to decide if you're in it for the money or if you're in it for the fun of it. And both are fine. A lot of people think that going into something for money is bad. It's completely wrong. Going into something for money is very good. Money allows you to do amazing things for people. You can help your loved ones. You can help your parents. You can help your kids. You can donate. And so doing something for money is great. Don't believe the lies that you hear about people saying, Money is bad. Money is the root of all evil. People who say that usually don't have money. So doing something for money is great. Now, you have to decide at some point if you want to do things mainly for the money or if you want to do things for the fun of it. It's very difficult and rare to find a combination of both. And even big actors, big athletes who used to love acting or who used to love playing the sports, at some point, it becomes a job and it does become about the money. It has to be if it's business and if it's something that pays you well. So that will evolve throughout your career and that's perfect fine. My advice to you is to aim to secure the bag as soon as you can. Aim to get your freedom as soon as you can. Focus on getting the money. Again, I'm talking to you as someone who has gone through entrepreneurship for the last 15 years, uh, hired thousands of people, over 100 people working for me, and I still have a very, very fun life with my family, very healthy life where I get to do what I want on a day-to-day -day basis. And if I want to shoot videos, I can shoot videos. If I don't want to shoot videos, I don't need to shoot videos. I'm in full control of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis because I have secured the bag. You need to secure your bag. You need to make sure that you have a clear goal, a clear number that you want to hit, and then do everything you can to hit that number. One of the main benefits of hitting your number and securing the bag, so making enough money for whatever you want to do in life, is that you're in full control of your life. You can do things you want to do, you can meet people you want to meet, and you can tell people to F off if you want to, because detachment from outcome is power. You're not forced to do anything you don't want to do anymore. That's number one. Aim to secure the bag as soon as you can in life. Number two, once you have secured the bag, aim to allocate a percentage to a rainy day fund. You need to have a rainy day fund. If you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, you will go through challenges. You need to make sure that you have money saved up to keep playing the game when things get tough. You'll have to invest into businesses, into ventures, into your current business, sometimes without seeing a return for weeks, months, and maybe even years. You don't know what the future holds. So once you've secured the bag, make sure that you have a rainy day fund that you do not touch except in exceptional circumstances. And the third thought I had during these calls today was that the higher I've gone throughout my business career, going from zero to generating multiple nine figures in sales, having a multiple eight-figure business, you know, that does tens of millions of dollars a year, is that the people who make the most money in life are generally the ones who are the most curious. I get more questions about business, marketing, online advertising, growing online businesses, hiring, social media from my friends who have made tens hundreds of millions of dollars than some people I grew up in high school with. And so it's very interesting to me because I've seen a correlation. The richer and wealthier people are, the more curious they are. So you have to keep an open mind and you always have to stay curious. I get more questions from people who have made it in life than people who are just starting in their business career. And it's a paradox, but that's what I've noticed too. So those three things today. Aim to secure the bag. Once the bag is secured, Make sure you have a rainy day fund. Stay curious. The richest people on earth, the most successful people on earth are the most curious. Comment below and tell me what you're gonna do once you've secured the bag and I'll talk to you soon.